The International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement was founded in Geneva, Switzerland. Started in 1863 by Swiss businessman and thinker Henry Dunat, the movement was established to help wounded and sick soldiers during wartime. Henry Dunat's work led to the adoption of the Geneva Convention in 1864, which formed the basis of international law for the protection of the wounded and the provision of all humanitarian aid in times of war. The Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement is therefore headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, with national Red Cross and Red Crescent societies in many countries around the world. DuPont is the company that developed and commercially produced the first synthetic nylon fiber. Nylon was discovered by DuPont in 1935 as a synthetic polymer and first produced commercially in 1938. This new material was developed for use in the textile industry and was named nylon. Nylon became very popular due to its durability, lightweight, and variety of uses. It was first used in the production of hosiery and was later used for different textile products, carpets, ropes and different industrial products. Nylon has also become a widely used material in the production of plastic products. DuPont's work on this innovative material led to the widespread use of synthetic fibers and plastics and industrial transformations. Carlo Collodi died on October 26, 1890. Known as an Italian journalist and writer, Collodi is especially known for his work, Pinocchio. He wrote this famous children's book in 1883. Carlo Collodi's Pinocchio has become one of the most famous characters in world children's literature and is still read in many different languages. The French army under Napoleon Bonaparte entered Berlin for the first time on October 27, 1806. This took place during Napoleon's military campaigns during the period known as the Napoleonic Wars. As part of the campaign against the Kingdom of Prussia, the French army captured Berlin. The Napoleonic Wars represent a period in which Napoleon Bonaparte made a great impact in Europe and many important historical events took place. These events were one of the major developments that shaped the history of 19th century Europe. The New York City subway system opened on October 27, 1904. The first line ran from City Hall in Manhattan to 145th Street along Broadway. Since then, the New York City subway has expanded rapidly and has become a vital part of the city's transportation network. Today, it is one of the world's largest and most heavily used public transit systems, serving millions of people in New York City and its surrounding areas. In a tragic event that took place on October 27, 1999, during a parliamentary session in Armenia, a group of armed individuals attacked resulting in the loss of lives of Armenia's Prime Minister, Buzgen Sarkisian, and other high-ranking officials. This incident occurred in the capital city of Yerevan and sent shockwaves throughout the country. Buzgen Sarkisian was a prominent politician who had also served as Armenia's Minister of Defense. The attackers targeted members of parliament and government officials who were present during the session. The assailants were subsequently arrested and brought to trial. This attack led to political instability and societal grief in Armenia, significantly impacting the country's political landscape. Theodore Roosevelt served as the 26th President of the United States. Roosevelt held the office of the President from 1901 to 1909. He is also known as a Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Roosevelt won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1906, primarily for his contributions to the negotiations of the Portsmouth Treaty a peace treaty between Japan and Russia in 1905. This treaty played a significant role in ending the Russo-Japanese War. The heavy metal music band Metallica was founded on October 28, 1981, in Los Angeles, California. The founding members of the group included James Hetfield, Lars Ulrich, Dave Mustin, and Ron McGovney. However, it was in the San Francisco Bay Area, particularly in the city of San Francisco, that Metallica became more well-known and successful. The band later became a significant part of the thrash metal scene in the San Francisco Bay Area and achieved great success on the international stage. Metallica is still an active music band today. The Statue of Liberty, also known as the Statue of Liberty in English, is a monument that was gifted to the United States by the French government with the aim of symbolizing the friendship of the French people toward the American people and their love for liberty. 
The statue was designed by the French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi. The statue was constructed in France and then sent to America in parts, and it was assembled at the New York Harbor on October 28, 1886. The Statue of Liberty is considered a symbol of liberty, democracy, and the American dream, and it has become one of the iconic symbols of New York City. Additionally, the statue is located on Liberty Island and can be visited by tourists. The ownership and management of the statue are under the National Park Service, making it a popular tourist destination. Bill Gates was born on October 28, 1955, in Seattle, Washington, United States. He is known as the founder and former owner of Microsoft Corporation. However, in 2006, he stepped down from the day-to-day -day operations of Microsoft and has since served as the chairman of the company's board. Bill Gates, along with his friend Paul Allen, co-founded Microsoft in 1975, and he played a significant role in the company's growth and success. Microsoft is renowned as a leading technology company worldwide, particularly in the areas of personal computer operating systems, Windows, and software products, Office Suite. Bill Gates is also a businessman, investor, and philanthropist. He and his wife, Melinda Gates, established the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which provides resources to address important humanitarian issues such as health, education, and poverty on a global scale. For more content, you can visit our channel.